Hi guys and ladies, it's February. It's below freezing out here, but the ice on Lake Catcher Big One melted away due to an extended warm spell. Well, I'm determined to fish in the comfort of my ice fishing shelter there out on the dock. You see, it's possible to fish right through the floor of the dock. And if I catch any fish, well, I have a warm, comforting, spicy stew in mind. Well, let's start by using this little ice lure. As always, I put a mealworm on it. I use them because they keep for months in the refrigerator. Now, I'll drop this down six feet deep because out there, I'll be fishing in seven feet of water. You see, I put a big weight on this uh, lure so that I could measure the depth precisely. We want to be one foot off the bottom. Let's lower it down and find the bottom. it is. So I raised it up just a bit so I know I'm about a foot off the bottom. Got one! I got one! It's a bit, it's a bass! Whoa! <laughs> hey, perfect eating size. Maybe a little large, but this is going to be great. <laughs> well, it's been an hour and I haven't caught another fish. But that one was a good one. Plus, I have other fish in the freezer. So I'm going to go ahead and make that nice, warm, comforting, spicy stew. Yesterday I was lucky to catch even one fish in that murky water. I can't remember another February where there was no ice on the lake. So I chopped up the fish, plus some from the freezer. Then I cleaned and peeled over a pound of large shrimp. And now I'm going to chop up some roasted red peppers. Well, actually, these are even better. They're sweeter. Eight ounces of roasted piquillo peppers. These peppers are so delicious, I decided to chop up a second jar of them. I'll let them drain in the sink now. I need a teaspoon of this. I'm not sure how to do this. Seems to be working. I just added six tablespoons of olive oil to this big skillet. I'm putting this on medium. Here, I've got two eight ounce containers of uh, chopped onions. The recipe says shallots, but I don't have time to be chopping shallots. I'm supposed to saute this for six minutes, but I'll keep going until they're soft. Our onions are looking really good. So now here go the piquillo peppers. Let's put those in. With no delay, I'm going to put in these diced tomatoes. They have uh, basil, garlic, and oregano. Just the flavors I like. Now I'm going to put in a teaspoon of this minced garlic. I'm going to let our concoction go for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Still on medium. I'm just sprinkling a little salt on it. And now plenty of pepper. I love pepper and you can't go wrong with pepper. Here's where you could add a half cup of fresh chopped cilantro. But I have this semi-dried stuff. I don't know how much I have left, but it's really pungent and cilantro-y. So the whole, whatever, tablespoon or so goes in there. Remember the lemon peel? We got like over a teaspoon here. Let's put that in there. 
Mmm, the fragrance, the aroma. More lemon, more lemon. That stuff is good smelling. We're still on medium heat. Here's our chunky fish, remember? Let's put that in. I'm going to go about four or five minutes. About two minutes in, I'll put the shrimp in. Just a touch more salt for the fish. In go the shrimp. Whoa! The recipe that inspired me was really for redfish, you know, from the Gulf. But why not shrimp? Why not fish? Why not crappie or bass? It's been five minutes. The shrimp are all nice and pink and opaque, and so is the fish. I'm going to bowl this up. Ah. Oh, smells so good. I must tell you, I just had a little bit of this, and oh, I'm so happy. It's spicy, yes, but spicy in a great way. This is delicious. I'm really, really pleased the way this came out. You might wonder why I put a lid on this casserole dish. Well, I need to tell you all, the famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is not coming over for dinner tonight, but that's great news because she's invited me over to her place for the first time ever. And yes, I'm bringing this dinner for us tonight. It's got to mean that she is finally serious about me. The only conclusion is that, well, she loves me. Well, here we are once again with that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for inviting me to your home. And I just wanted to ask you, how did you like my spicy fish uh, seafood stew? It was very well seasoned and very well prepared and I could taste the lemon zest. And the shrimp was cooked to perfection and so were all the vegetables and the fish. It was very oh. nice, thank you. Thank you so much. Miss uh, Lulu, uh, what conclusion can I draw from your inviting me over to your home today? My car was in the shop and I was hungry. Oh, well, thank you for making the lovely salad. <laughs>